Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Axisord, and welcome back to another Building Wakanda episode. I'm super glad that you guys uh, turned on uh, the, this video on. Really uh, appreciate it a lot. So, uh, what you're seeing right now is a knockoff Thanos, and I just wanted to bring this up since we now have seen the new Thanos figure, and I just am kind of conflicted since I do really like this figure, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the new one. Since the new one looks pretty cool, but it's the f armored version, unfortunately. And the I do I think that the head on this one, some people might think it's weird, but this is actually the they knock the knockoff version. They actually uh, copied MGF's customs uh, face uh, that he painted himself, and he made it cost a very awesome custom figure. But this one actually also turns. So what am I might gonna do when whenever the sets come out on June 1st, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna try to put this head on the other figure and then we'll see what that actually, uh, what that looks like. I'm definitely gonna use this gauntlet on either figure since I do have all the stones on that. But for now, I'm still gonna use this um, knockoff figure, even though it's knockoff, it's, it's very accurate to the movie. So this is definitely something I'm considering using. And secondly, I just want to show you guys that I have a new phone, with, uh, we come to um, a 2021 phone, so it has a new camera and all that, and just gonna show you some zoom things, so it really zooms out, so this is gonna be used for my uh, overview shots that I'm gonna use, and this is just showing off something, and then this is zooming in, and, uh, and can also zoom in manually, we can do all that stuff, so that's really cool. So I'm super hyped to show you guys some progress before before I show you actually full um, dropship that you can see over there in full detail. I'm actually going to show you some stuff that I actually forgot to show uh, yeah, uh, uh, last week, which is uh, move, uh, move this over and I'll put the lights on. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. So actually, um, made the crater a little better i added some more green and it actually looks a lot better than just a brown uh, hole and i think it looks really cool right now and we might be able to use the torso of the new tor figure which is pretty cool so um that's probably the thing that i forgot to show so right now i can actually also show you guys some of the trees that i have over here so we got a nice trench of trees and some of you guys really like these trees for uh um so i really appreciate you guys liking it it's not that uh not that hard to make them actually but i do agree with myself that the olive green is such a better color than the normal green so i also have the the lights on for the the barrier which still looks awesome we have falcon over there uh but now it's time where you've guys been all been waiting for and i'm gonna guys the dropship in full detail let's do it right now so it's gonna be hard since all the green bling in is in black so i'm gonna show you guys that with some daylight that's actually the only way you can really see it well so this is i I'm, i started on the crater as well it's actually hard to see right now so i'm not too sure on how the crater looks it's kind of messy to be honest since it's on an angle it's just kind of hard to get it right but this is what the dropship looks like it's uh, really big actually and it looks really cool i got a lot of greebling detail in there I actually have a little room in there as well so right now i'll show you guys the dropship uh, on its own uh, and i'll do that right so here is the finished dropship with, with a lot of amount of detailing and a lot of ribbling. And I've actually found out that daylight is the only way uh, you can actually see what's going on there. Because when you shine a light on it, it's just, it's just reflecting all that focus light. So I'm super hyped. Uh, so you guys seen this part in the last episode. So I'm doing this on my bed next to my window. But we got a bunch of ribbling in this. So let's just get into some of the detailing. So on top, I actually use some I actually use some track pieces uh, as some detail as well. Then I use some antennas. Even got some skateboard wheels as well. Got a hex hexagon piece. We have a droid body as well. Some antennas. So I just do a little, uh, just a little sneak 
I mean, like just uh, I mean, I'm not I'm not sure how to call it, just going by it with the camera. But we also have some orange details in there as well. We have some Star Wars blasters as well. And here we have a little room where I actually put the light in there as well. I even included some pan pieces as well. Put some blasters over here, and then we have the door. And over here, we also have some detailing. Actually had the whole black side on the side to just make it a little more thicker. I just want you guys to not miss any of the details I put in this. And if you guys are wondering how you even start this, I have no idea. I mean, uh, I've never done greebling like this. So, I the, the thing is, it's just to place, just get a bunch of parts in front of you. And start placing some stuff. Also a little update, I got uh, my I got two more shelves over here for all the Marvel sets that are going, going to come out in the, um, uh, the Star Wars sets as well. And we also have some of my Black series over here. I recently got uh, Bo-Katan. And let's just um, go back into this. So here we're actually going to show you guys the little room that comes in here. Here's the little Outrider that comes out of it. And I mean... It doesn't really go anywhere, but I can actually put a little light on. It's a little hard to do. And there it is. So we have a light in there. And it's actually that's actually something we do see in the movie. Where we see Outriders just coming out of the ship. We don't really see the door part. But that's a really cool thing. It's kind of hard to go in there. It just plates in a little box. So... I hope you guys are really satisfied with how this vehicle came out. I've never really done something like this, so it's definitely very new for me. And let's just put it in the muck one more time. And then we'll uh, give a little overview look on how big it actually is. So here is the dropship on its place next to the barrier. And it's just really big. I'd say it's a, maybe a little less big than my Naboo tower I had. So it's really cool to have it in place. So great. We'll see about that. Let's see. I'm just gonna give you guys some angles, some different angles. Look perfect with the Infinity War poster. But we have it over here. I know it's like way further movie, obviously, but it's gonna be next to the barrier here. So uh, before I actually end this video. I forgot in my Firestar uh, Toys review, I actually forgot to uh, show this arm, which is the injured uh, officer arm, and it looks really cool. I'm, I mean, if you see any strange warfare or anything World War One related, you always see uh, hurt officers or hurt soldiers in the trenches. So I might buy some more of these. It's just a nice little detail. But that, that has nothing to do with Wakanda. So, uh, what else can I show? I we also got some Outriders over here coming out of the ship. So, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's uh, finally finished. So, the next thing I'm actually going to work on is just finishing this whole area. I actually ran out of 1x2 sand green tiles. So, that's that's a bummer. But um, we'll see what we're able to work on. Uh, also could work maybe on the little rock work over here. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm getting a lot of subscribes recently. I really, It's really cool of you guys. Uh, if you like how the dropship ended, uh, I would really appreciate a like. That helps me out a lot. And comments always make my day. And if you haven't already, also there's a Discord link in the uh, Discord below. I, sh I show you guys some early uh, shots and some early pr mock progress. And we're also able to talk about all these Star Wars leaks and the Marvel leaks, which has been a lot of fun uh, with the recent leaks. Can't wait for that Benatar. That, that Marvel Benatar is one of my favorite sets I've seen uh, back in going back into the LEGO community. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I uh, appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video.